distance from one side to the other is a mind-numbing 110 million oh light my God. years. But We're even not alone. the massive Hey y'all, welcome back to TNT Podcast. I'm your girl Tasha. I'm T. What's up? So what are we doing today, babe? Alright, so we have a video. It's uh it's titled The Universe is Bigger Than You Think. So uh, we're going to go ahead and check it out. Y'all can leave your thoughts down below in the comment section, but let's go ahead and jump right into it. This is Earth. You live here on this planet somewhere, and everything that you've ever known is located right here. But just how small exactly is Earth when compared to the scale of the entire universe? Let's start by zooming out to where we can see our nearest cosmic neighbor, the moon. You may think that the moon is very close to Earth since it dominates our night skies, but in reality the moon isn't this close to our planet, it's actually about this far away, oh. 384,400 <laughs> kilometers away from wow. you right now on average. You could fit 30 entire Earths in between this distance, and if you somehow were able to drive a car at a constant 100 kilometers per hour speed, it would take you about 160 days to drive the entire yeah. distance. Oh, wow. Despite Who's this incredible 62? distance, however, you know, who's going 62? Will you look at that? <laughs> Don't you think that's incredible that they were able to live stream the uh, the moon? Landing? Oh, look, here we go. No, I'm just saying to, <laughs> to have that kind of distance mm -hmm. and still be able to communicate through radio frequency as far as. What, uh, 1962? Yeah, and like, yeah, and like the 60s. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. Yeah. And, <laughs> and nowadays you can barely connect with a, a stream that's like in the same country or even the same state. Anyway, we're not going to go there. Oh, Let's continue. but NASA, they actually have uh, beautiful photos of Mars now on TikTok. I have to show you. It's wow. really cool. 50 days to drive the entire distance. Despite this incredible distance, however, 12 humans have actually set foot here, representing the furthest away that any individual human has ever been away from the Earth, and one of humanity's greatest achievements. This is what the Earth would look like from there if you were standing there with them. And if you wanted to communicate with somebody back at home, it would take a message about two and a half seconds to travel between you and them oh, since that's, that's how fast. fast the speed of light can travel at. This is nice. a photo that was taken on Mars, and see? that tiny dot that you see there is Earth as seen from the Martian surface. On average, Mars is an incredible 225 million kilometers away from Earth, but that distance can be as high as 401 million kilometers. That means that whenever humanity finally gets around to landing a human on the planet, that person will be 986 times further away from Earth than the astronauts who landed on the moon were. In addition, Damn. the time delay for sending a message from Mars back to Earth isn't just two and a half seconds, it's actually more like 20 minutes each direction. Which which would render instant communication in the event of an emergency impossible. Oh. When we zoom yeah. out even further away, Dead. we can find the Voyager 1 space probe, which is the furthest away man-made object from Earth. It is currently located 138 AUs from the Earth, AU meaning astronomical unit, which is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, which oh. means that Voyager 1 is 138 times further away from us than the Sun is. At some point on its long voyage, Voyager 1 turned its camera around and took this photograph. It may not look like much at first, but in my opinion, this is the greatest single photograph ever taken in all of human history. This oh. tiny, pale blue dot is That's Earth, us. and I don't think that anybody has ever said something as amazing about this as Carl Sagan when he said, If you look at it, you see a dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. Wow. On it, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever lived, wow. lived out their lives. The aggregate of all our joys and sufferings. Thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines. Every hunter and every forager. Every hero and coward. Every creator and destroyer of civilizations. Every king and every peasant. Every young couple in love. Every hopeful child. Every mother and every father. Every inventor and explorer. Every teacher of morals every corrupt politician, every oh, yeah. superstar, Damn. every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived on there <laughs> on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. 
Wow. Voyager 1 is currently traveling at 17 kilometers every single second, but even at that speed, it won't break out of the reach of our solar system for another 30,000 years. Damn. Once we go beyond the solar system, we arrive in our interstellar neighborhood. Here we shift to the light year unit of measurement, which is the distance that light travels in a full Earth year, or about 9.461 trillion kilometers. The star Proxima Centauri here is the closest other star to us other than our sun, but it's still 4.24 light years away from us. To put that into perspective, if it was heading in the right direction, it would still take Voyager 1 over 70,000 years to reach it. In other oh, wow. words, if you drove your car at 100 kilometers an hour like in our previous example to the moon, it would take over six times longer than the entire age of the universe is just to finally get there, and it wouldn't even exist still when you arrived. Wow. When we zoom out even further, we can see the entire Milky, Milky Way. Way galaxy, inside of which Earth is located Beautiful. right here. This yellow dot is the furthest extent of humanity's radio broadcasts throughout history, which means that any possible aliens who live outside of this range are totally unaware of humanity's presence. It's complete wow. silence outside of this yellow dot as far as we are currently aware, but the entire galaxy spans over 100,000 light years from end to end. Oh. There are over 100 billion stars and over 100 billion planets inside of our galaxy. But so you with that being Wow. said a hundred billion planets yeah and can't even just you think that we're the only ones out there yes no way yeah. no way not in a hundred yeah. billion planets that we are the only we are life the, form. we are alone there is nothing else out there i disagree and, Let and, us and know then you if just you believe and, and and you just seen what he was saying how long it would take to get to the outer for us, because yeah. we haven't built a, de a a traveling device equipped for we this. We will never build a device that would travel to you the outer edges never. of the Milky Way galaxy. And if we did, it the amount of time that it would take us to travel there, we, not would, thinking. we would die. No. The only way we could actually build it and then like live portals, long enough... There's portals, there's, what's that? What, Rosen, a wormhole? A wormhole, yeah. Yeah, I even have my theories about that. What's that, Rosen Bridge? When you go through the wormhole, you die. And then on the other end, it's a new you that's reconstructed with your, I guess, your energy. So, yeah, so it wouldn't even matter to, to you right now. But you wouldn't even know. <laughs> But I, I don't believe we're the only ones out there. There's no way a hundred billion planets. There's no way. For I think everything that it took to, to bring life to Earth, that's just unique. Y'all let us know. Do you think uh, in a hundred billion planets that we're the only ones out there? That's ridiculous. I think it's good though, because if there were aliens out there, they there are. Yeah. If well, th then that Maybe means we're that, the aliens. Well, I mean, <laughs> that means that they're they're searching for our planet for resources we, and food we are the resource yeah exactly our energy is the resource right. they're already getting yeah. it put us in in capsules and harvest this no nah, they're already yeah. harvesting the energy anyway <laughs> let's continue <laughs> have never seen the full glory Take billion to end there are over 100 billion stars and over 100 billion planets inside of our galaxy wow. But you Just have never seen the full glory yeah. of the galaxy at night, because 99% of the stars that you can see with the naked eye are limited to this small, tiny region right here. But even this massive galaxy is nothing compared to the rest of what's out there. Zooming out even further and we arrive at the local group of galaxies, a collection oh of 54 different galaxies that is about 10 million light years across. But zooming out even oh further, God. and we can see the Virgo supercluster, just, of which the local group the here fuck? is just a tiny segment of. There are at least 100 other groups of galaxies just like our own Jeez. local group inside of here, and the distance from one side to the other is a mind-numbing 110 million oh light years. But We're even the alone. massive Virgo supercluster is nothing but a quiet and tiny lobe of the great Laniakea supercluster, an fuck? enormous Wait. structure... Quiet eight oh. years. Side to the other is a mind-numbing 110 million light years. 
But even the massive Virgo supercluster is nothing but a quiet and tiny lobe of the great Laniakea supercluster, an Damn. enormous structure that is home to our galaxy as well as 100,000 other galaxies. The distance from one side to the other is 520 million light years, but from even there wow. we can oh zoom God. out all the way to the entire observable universe and see that even the titanic Laniakea supercluster is just a tiny and insignificant oh part of everything. Oh this gosh. is the observable universe and it contains everything that we know of. It is home to at least two trillion different and individual galaxies, which together contain <laughs> more stars than there are are grains of sand on the entire wow. Earth. The distance from Earth to any side of the observable universe is 46.5 billion light years, which means that the entire width is 93 billion light years across. What's perhaps even more interesting, however, is what actually lies beyond the observable universe. Keep in mind that the observable universe is all that we can currently see, and it's entirely possible that the rest of the universe outside of it is vastly larger and more fantastic than oh, we can wow. possibly ever imagine. We simply don't know what else is out there, because the light from these incredibly distant places has not yet had enough time in the universe's history to reach us yet back on Earth. And oh. the light from some places may never reach us at all. Because some parts of space very far away from Earth are expanding away from us faster than the speed of light, that means that the light from these places will never, in an infinite amount of time, reach Earth. Meaning that even if humanity is eternal and exists forever, there will still be an unknown number of places in the universe that we will never know about or ever see. So, it is very likely that as unbelievably enormous as it seems, the observable universe is just a tiny slice of what we can currently see of the entire universe. According to the theory of cosmic inflation that was proposed by Dr. Alan Guth, if it is assumed that cosmic inflation began at 10 to the negative 37th of a second after the Big Bang, and with the assumption that the size of the universe before inflation began was equal to its age times the speed of light, then this would seem to suggest that at the present day, the entire universe is 150 sextillion times larger than the observable universe. That number wow. for reference looks like this, with this many zeros. Let this number sink Never in for just a moment. Trillion. This would be similar to you thinking that the entire observable universe, everything that you could see was the size of a light bulb, but then realizing that in reality the entire universe is larger than the former planet oh of Pluto. God. Imagine oh. a light bulb in the center of Pluto, but we inside the light bulb were totally unaware that Pluto existed outside of it, and that's a similar situation to this. We are all wow. so unbelievably small, but you shouldn't worry, because all that means is that there is so much left out there for us to discover together. Discover? Wow. This that, that is amazing. I mean... That is amazing to it, think that that all is out there. And now it and does... And you still think we are alone? I, I don't know anymore. Are you serious? There's no I mean, way. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but uh, with things that far away, it wouldn't even matter. It does it, it wouldn't even matter if there was other life out there because, you know, I'm... you would. we would just never see it. We would you never find it. You don't know. This just put things in perspective for me. Right. Like everything that you think is a problem, is it really a problem? We're just so tiny, so minuscule. Right, yeah. And I think it's like maybe we're not living the life that we should be living to our fullest potential. Yeah. Because we're so focused on the mundane things, our everyday things. Right. And this, well, I don't know, it just opened up my mind. Yeah, well, I, I think all of that's going to change in the near future because of, okay. with the help of AI. Oh, yeah. yikes. Well, that's a yikes whole nother nothing. story. Well, no. We'll I mean, what, Let's that, see what happens but with that's that. The, but that's going to be the only way people survive <laughs> space travel is when they combine themselves with AI and become like a cyborg or something. And then, of course, fully convert yeah. over into being a, a robot. You want to be a cyborg so bad. Yeah. Well, that's the only way you're going to be able to space travel all these years. I don't think it's the only way. Yeah. Because our, our human bodies are so fragile. We only live a mere, 
I guess on average, now for 80 now, to 100 years. But they're saying with AI, it could go two ways. It could really be helpful to us yeah. and it can extend our lives. Yeah, right. Or it could decimate us and kill us all. Well, that's probably what's so. going to happen. It's going <laughs> to decimate humanity. Then and you then, really don't have to worry about bills. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. And then we'll just, everybody will be robots. That's pretty cool. Or cyborgs. Nah. It, it, see, it, it'll, gradually, have- it'll gradually go from humans to cyborgs and then robot full robot full mm-hmm. full autonomy nah i don't cuz there's so. going to be no point in humans just being around um, we, we don't we're fragile we don't survive anything but if you become a cyborg you right. will you got to have some kind of well being a cyborg is like halfway there and i think eventually this being a cyborg would have its own limitations as well I don't know. To converting people full, all the way. Full robot don't don't make any sense to me. Yeah. Well, when you become that's what a, you want to When be. you become AI, will make sense. Because. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, there you have it, kids. All right, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and get up out of here. If y'all like us to do some more videos about the universe, uh, leave some suggestions down below in the comment section. As always, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see y'all next time. Take care. Peace. Ta-da. Just want to be a robot. <laughs>